Hello everyone, uh, in this tutorial we see how to create a calendar in Adobe Illustrator. So we'll be creating this A3 portrait calendar that you can see in here. And as you can see it looks really good. So we'll see how to gonna do that and how we're gonna make it ready for print. And also I already uploaded a video that you can see in here showing how to create a calendar in Adobe InDesign. If you didn't see this video or you want to see how you're gonna do it in Adobe InDesign, just press open. Or you know just check the link from the description below. Alright, fantastic, so let's get to it. Alright, now before we're gonna start creating our calendar, make sure to download the font I used for this tutorial. You will find this link in the description below, so just open it and press the download. I also used a vector image from freepick.com, so just open it and browse in their site. They have some really great vector image that you can use for this calendar. Otherwise, if you want to use the same image I use, so just go down and you will find this in here. Just one click and press download. But before you use it, make sure like to read uh, their term of uh, use and their license. I also download a, a calendar 2016 template as a reference. Alright, now so go and open your Adobe Illustrator. So go to File, New. And for the size in here, I put E3 size. And I add a little bit of bleed, so I just put 0 0.125 inch for bleed. And in the retention in here, make sure it's portrait. And in advance in here, make sure it's MYK on 300. And just press OK. Alright, so this, as you can see, this is the bleed in here. This is the red rectangle outside. That's the bleed. Now we need to add a margin inside our uh, uh, document. So we want to add a 0 0.25 inch mar margin. So let's first create a rectangle that will allow us to measure it perfectly. So we just one click and choose 0 0.25 inch for, for the width and 0 0.25 inch for the height. And press OK. And I will just uncheck stroke and I will make it in black. Now I will take this rectangle and I will place it in the top left corner in here, like so. Now I can easily go and add a guide in here and an another guide in there. If you didn't see the rulers in your illustrator, just press Ctrl R and it will appear. So now I just add one guide in here and another in here. And I will take the same rectangle and I will place it in the bottom right corner. And I would add a guide like so and another one like that and I would just delete this rectangle now if you want to add a, a rectangle like this as it's as it shown in the bleed we can easily do that so we can just go to the rectangle again and you know just make a rectangle from here like that and I will just uncheck the fill. I will make it stroke like so. And I will just right, right click to it. And I will choose make guides. And this will create as a guide. So now we can, we can go and delete these guides in here. Let me first unlock the guides. And just delete this one. And this one in here. And as you can see, we have it inside our document. Let me just go and lock it again. All right, now we're gonna add a, a white rectangle as a background. So we go to the rectangle in here and add from the bleed till like that. And then we just fill it in white. And then we'll unlock it by pressing Ctrl 2 on your keyboard. All right, now I will go and make a new layer and I will call this calendar. And I will go to text and I'll just one click and drag and I will start typing 
the days of the week but first I will need to make it in center so we go and choose a line center and I will choose the same font that we just uh, downloaded it so we go and choose Matlit Berkey in here and I will make the size for like 16 point and I will start typing so we type one day just the first three letters and I press enter and again Tuesday and make sure like to press enter in each day and Wednesday enter and in the last one make sure to press enter again and now we we'll go to type and choose area type option and this uh, window will pop up now I will go and check preview and I will uh, uh, adjust the width and height for this uh, uh, text so we we'll go and put 2.5 inch for the width and 2.5 inch for the height and as you can see it will make it as a square now I will add seven number rows on seven columns as you can see and I will adjust the color so we put 0 0.079 inch for the color and 0 0.079 inch in same color in here and I will go to the inset spacing and I will put 0 0.039 inch for the spacing and I will press OK and as you can see this will align it perfectly in here now I will go and add the number of the, of the, of the, to the week so we go and double click to it and I will press enter and press 1 enter 2 enter 3 and I will keep going like that and there we go we have it uh, a 31 day in here as you can see now I will go and double click to this first row in here and I will make it a little bit bigger so we'll put 20 points maybe like so and I will go and one click to character in here and I will just make it go down a little bit so we we'll just press maybe minus five points in here and I will do the same for the days go to character again and I will make it down a little bit maybe minus five points here we go now if you want to add a grid to your calendar you can easily do that so just go to the lines in here and choose grid tool and just one click and the grid tool option will pop up and just put six number for the horizontal and six for the vertical and press ok and you know just go and place it until it snap with the text like that and if you want to add the color to it so just go to stroke and put black and you know just adjust with the point in here to 0 0.5 or whatever you want but I'm not I won't do that because I don't want it to be in a uh, all grid in here I just want this line in here so I can just go and delete the rest let me first go and take the the weeks in here and put it in here and then we just go and choose this white direct selection in here and then we just delete this first and delete this in here and then we take it back until it snaps like so as you can see this will create this line under the, the week in here and I'll go and I will make this into a gray color so we we'll just put this gray in here all right now we're ready to add uh, the month uh, on the top so we'll go and choose text again and just one click and drag again all right And just double click to it so I will type my text so we type January and I will make it a little bit bigger maybe 28 or 30 point and there we go we have it on the top of our first month in here 
Now I will go and bring my reference in here. So we we'll go and open it. Just put it in here. And as you can see in January, the day will start on Friday. So we can easily go and edit that. So we can just go and double click to it. And by pressing enter, I can go and we'll make it go to Friday. Or let's say it's gonna start within Wednesday. I can easily go and by pressing the backspace in here, I can make it start with Wednesday. And this is how we're gonna edit all the month. All right, now I will go and select the whole thing, and I will go and place it into our margin in here, like so. And I will go and duplicate it by pressing Alt. And I will just click and drag until it snap like that. Now, if I press shift, it will make it uh, jump one row in here. So we just by pressing shift in the, my right key in here and one click and another click like that. And I will do the same for these two in here. I will go and duplicate them. So by pressing alt, I will duplicate the both of them. And again, by pressing shift on with my right, my right key in here, just make it jump to row. All right, now I will go and select the whole thing and then make it in center. And I will make it a little bit bigger so it will snap with the margin. All right, now I will go and duplicate this four month in here so we'll just again by pressing alt i will make it in the bottom in here and again by pressing alt and there we go we have our 12 month now we'll go and select the whole thing and i will make it in the bottom in here till it snap with the margin Alright, so we have our 12 month again, like so. Now I can easily go and edit every month in here. So we'll start with the month. So we we'll go and type February. And again, March. And we go, we have our month in here. Now I will go and start editing the days so I will show you how to do that so if you can see February it starts in one day so I can go and double click to it and by pressing the back backspace in here it will edit it to Monday and I will just go and delete these two days in here and then in here it will start on Tuesday so we just double click again and again by pressing the backspace to start on Tuesday so we'll keep doing that we'll fast this video a little bit Now we have it matched the same calendar that we downloaded. So we just go and delete it. Alright, so we're almost done. So now I will go and open the image that we will download to use. So we go and open it, the AI file in here. And then we go and select everything and I will take it and open it in here. We'll make it a little bit smaller, like so. And then we just replace it in the center like that. You can go to the alignment in here and just replace like so. And then we make it a little bit bigger. All right, something like so. Okay, so we go and take this and make it in the top in here. All right. Now I will type 2016 in here. So we we'll go to text and one click and type 2016. That will make it a little bit bigger, maybe 180 points. 
and I will uh, change it to skinny and I will just rotate it a little bit we will replace it in here like so alright and I will change the color to this light gray in here and there we go we have our cannon there now we can easily go and save it for print so we go to file save as and then we choose in here Adobe PDF and press save or you know just name it Let me name it calendar and press save this Adobe PDF setting will, will pop up so go to the presets in here and choose 2008 PDF and go to the marks and bleed and choose trim marks and in here just check use document bleed setting because we already have our own bleed setting so we just check that and press save and there we go we have it ready for print now if I go to our file I will have it in here save as PDF and ready for print as you can see it looks really good and ready to go alright so I hope that you enjoy and you like this tutorial and it was a little bit helpful for you don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know wait for more tutorials to come and have a nice day thank you for watching